Hello Internet, so nice to see you! In my recent video about negative harmony, many of you have asked me about the difference between negative harmony and model exchange, also called model borrowing or shifting to the parallel minor. Don't worry about the complex name right now, I'm going to explain everything in a minute in detail. But before that, let's hear the differences between those two concepts. Let's take a very simple, very basic melody in C major. It's a very, very basic melody. Now, if I apply modal exchange to the whole melody, this is what I get. And if instead I apply negative harmony to the whole melody, this is what I get. We can agree that those two concepts sound completely different. So, how do they work and how you can use them in your own music? Let's start with modal exchange, and we're going to do everything in C major. The idea is simply to change the C major scale into the C minor scale by changing all the E notes into E flat notes, all the A notes into A flat notes, and sometimes changing the B into B flat notes, even if you do have the option to leave the B as it is. We're going to see this in a moment. Just by doing this, all the chords will change too. So, for instance, the C major chord is made by the notes C, E, and G. If we change the E note into E flat, as we do under modal exchange, the chord will become C, E flat, G, that is C minor. And this way, all the other chords will change too. So, for instance, if I take the E minor chord, I'm going to change the E into E flat, the B into B flat, and I get an E flat major chord. The only chord that makes exception here is the G chord. In this case, you have the option to transform the B note into a B flat note, making it a G minor chord, or you can just leave the B note as it is, so the G chord will stay G. Why do we do that? Well, long story short, it's because sometimes it sounds better to have G rather than G minor. In negative harmony, on the other hand, we change the notes in a different way. As we have seen in the other video, we flip the scale around a very specific axis, and so every note goes into a different note. So, for instance, the C note becomes a G note, the D note becomes an F note, E becomes E flat, F becomes D, G becomes C, A becomes B flat, B becomes A flat. Just by doing this, the chords change too. So, for instance, if we take the G major chord made by the note G, B, and D, we change it note by note, G becomes C, B becomes A flat, D becomes F, we take those three notes, which are F, A flat, and C, and now we see that the G chord has been transformed into an F minor chord, and we do exactly the same with all the other chords. So at the end of the day, this is what happens. Under negative harmony, the note changed this way, and the chord changed this other way. I already explained in my previous video why we are doing it this way, so I refer you to that if you want to know more about this. Now, let's see how modal exchange and negative harmony work in practice when we apply them to our melody. So here is the original melody again, and then I'm making a copy of the melody and putting it here. Great! Now, this melody has as chords C major, A minor, D minor, G, and then C again. But for modal exchange, we don't really need to know that, because for modal exchange, we just need to change every E into E flat, every A into A flat, and then decide if to keep B or change into, into B flat. So I just check here what notes are here. Here in this melody I have an E note, and I'm changing it into an E flat note, and the same here in the chord. Great. And then the, uh, here I have a C, C stays C, G stays G, and C stays C. And I just do this for all the other chords. So for instance, here I have a C stays C, this B becomes B flat, this A becomes A flat. And then I keep changing things this way. Or at least I do it until I get to this chord here, which is G, and I want to keep G exactly the same, so I'm not changing anything here. There is no E and no A, so I'm just, there's no problem. And the B that is here, and the B that is here, I'm just keeping them as they are. And the last chord here is C again, and I need to change the E into E flat. Now, of course, if you prefer, we can change the B into B flat on the last chord, and this is what happens. We 
which does not sound bad, it just sounds different. So it's up to you which one you want to do. So as you can see, model exchange is really simple to do. Let's see negative harmony. Again, I grab a copy of the original melody and I'm putting it here. And now what I have to do is to change all the notes in the melody according to what you've seen before, and then change all the chords according to what we've seen before. So let's start with the melody. C becomes G, E becomes E flat, D becomes F, C becomes G, and I just keep going. Now I need to change the chord too. So the first chord was C major, and we know that under negative harmony it becomes C minor. The second chord is A minor. We know under negative harmony A minor becomes E flat. So I need to change all the notes here. I need to first change the bass and put this as E flat, and then change the other notes too. Now at this point I noticed that the chords are pretty distant from the melody, so I'm gonna move a bit few notes around. This will sound better. Then I keep going. The third chord is D minor. Under negative harmony, D minor becomes a B flat. G here becomes F minor. And the final C becomes C minor. So in the melody, I just change it note by note according to the table on the left. And for the chord, I just change them chord by chord according to the table on the right. And then I just rewrite the whole accompaniment from scratch. But Tommaso, some of you will say, this is not the way you apply modal exchange or negative harmony because you're applying it to the whole melody. Well, of course, you can apply it only to part of the melody and let's see how it's done. So let's grab again our original melody, make a copy, and let's say I want to apply the modal exchange only on the second bar. So what I'm going to do is simply changing every E into E flat, every A into A flat, and every B into B flat, but only on the second bar. Why did I pick the second bar? Just because I could have picked the third bar instead. It's a bit harsh because here in the third bar we had a D minor and when we apply the modal exchange we get a D diminish. A good way to make this sound a little bit better is to change the inversion of the D diminish into a D diminish with a bass of F, so the first inversion of the chord, just changing the bass to an F. It may still be too harsh, so in this case I can apply modal exchange also on the second bar to make it sound a bit smoother. What about negative harmony? Yes, I can apply negative harmony too, only on some of the bars. Let's see how it works. So let's say I want to apply negative harmony only on the last bar here, on the fourth bar. So again, I change all the notes in the melody according to my table on the left. So D becomes F, C becomes G, and B becomes E flat. And I also change the harmony correspondingly so you remember that G major becomes an F minor. I also noticed that the melody now is disconnected. And so in this case, I change into negative harmony also this note here and this C here becomes G. And this is to help this melody resolve the right way. I could have applied negative harmony also to any other bar separately. So for instance, I can apply negative harmony here also on the second bar. So I'm gonna change the melody here as usual. I'm gonna change my chord, this original is an A minor and becomes an E flat under negative harmony. So now I have the original melody on the first bar and the third bar and the last bar and negative harmony on the second bar and the fourth bar. If you don't like the disconnect here, you can always change this note or even this note under negative harmony and see how it works. In this case, this D could become an F and this helps this melody flow better.
Can I apply together model exchange and negative harmony? Sure I can. And let me take the original melody here. And for instance, I can apply a model exchange on bar number two and negative harmony on bar number three and see what happens. So model exchange in bar number two, let's flatten all those E, A's and B's. Negative harmony on bar number three, let's exchange these according to our table. And let's remember that this chord is a, is a D minor chord, which becomes B flat under negative harmony. And now I can do any possible combination. I can transform all the bar but one. I can transform half the bar with modal exchange and the other half with negative harmony. I can do exactly whatever I want. How am I going to use this in practice in my song? Well, you see, now I have three melodies, the original one, the modal exchange one, and the negative harmony one, and those three melodies and their chord progressions are all related. They all work together with each other. So for instance, I could use the modal exchange harmony in my verse, the original melody here in my chorus, and I can use the negative harmony version in the bridge of the song. Of course, this is a very, very simple diatonic melody in C. It's very basic, it's nothing exciting. I will not really do a song with this, but this show you how powerful are modal exchange and negative harmony when you know how to use them, even in this basic case, and how many variations they can give you on the same melody. Of course, you can do much, much more if you know more about harmony and you can create much more complex things and more interesting melodies if you want. And if you want to do that, I totally recommend you check the course Complete Chord Mastery. This is not a book, it's a complete video course made for guitar players that takes you from the very beginning, from knowing next to nothing about harmony, up to being able to do very complex things in theory and with your instrument. We work on how to write parts for guitar, on how to work with all those kind of interesting concepts like, again, model exchange. We work on a lot of things, augmented six chord, Triton substitution, chord melodies, extended chord, etc., etc. It's a complete course and if you want to really know how to work with harmony i totally recommend you check it out if you like this video smash on that like button and don't forget to click on subscribe and please if you really like this video share this video on all the social media you are in let your friends know this is tomas azzilio music 34 guitar.com and until next time enjoy